go grab some things to add to our freeze dryer. I made some chicken nacho stuff the other night for dinner and I had a lot of leftovers. Um, so that's in the fridge thickening up and then we're gonna put it on the freeze dryer tray, but because I need to fill five trays, I wanna add a couple more things to it. So let's go grab some things. Oh, look at that little baby. Let's talk about what I'm getting and why. Cottage cheese first. I don't always make it through that full tub and then it goes bad, but I still need it. I love to put cottage cheese in the baby's eggs and sometimes when it goes bad i don't have any on hand so i'm going to have a whole bunch of freeze-dried cottage cheese on hand that i can whip up in case my tub goes bad then i wanted to do blueberries for smoothies um, you have to break the skin for it to freeze dry properly so that's why i just tossed it in the blender they will not come out as full blueberries but if you're tossing them in a smoothie there's no problem this whole process oh, yeah. took 35 hours from start to finish that. And here are my thoughts on pulling it out of the freeze dryer. I'm always so excited. Follow along for our next freeze dried video where I show you how I package up all of these freeze dried food items. Looks perfect. Completely dry. And my blueberries. <laughs> 